In this video module, I'm going to show you how to create conversion goals in Google Analytics for CDK websites. CDK is one of the few website companies that drop a Google event for each type of form that is on their website. This is extremely important because dealers now are seeing unlock price buttons on their website which do not follow the same conversion pattern as other buttons on their website, which means most dealers who have unlock price buttons on their website have less conversions reported in Google Analytics because many of those pages do not have a thank you page. On the other hand, CDK has events firing every time a form is completed, which allows us to create a standard goal that's compliant with the PCG specification for Google Analytics and to create goals for the new 2.0 specification for forms. First, let's go in and see where the events are in Google Analytics for CDK websites regarding form submission. So if you click on behavior and then events and top events, you will see all the events that are firing for this dealership. There's forms, inbound call, Gubagoo, their chat provider, and form submits. The form submits event is specific to CDK. The other forms event has nothing to do with CDK. If I click on form submits, you will see that they list get a quote, price watch, contact us, finance, e-price, parts, contact, get a quote. These are all different forms that CDK has on this dealer's website. So I want to show you how to create a standard goal which would capture all of these form conversions, and then more importantly, I want to show you how to make a goal just for sales leads, just for service leads, just for general admin leads. Let's go to admin, let's go to goals, and you'll notice I can have the ability to create a goal because the red button is showing, so I'm going to click on new goal. For CDK websites that are using events, you're going to go on custom and click on continue. And then you're going to give it the compatible name, which is CPE conversion forms. That's for all, that's for all CDK lead forms. And we're going to click on event and we're going to click on continue. Now, these events, the form submits, were at the category level. So I'm just going to do form submits and it has to be case sensitive so if there's a space or a capital you have to use it exactly as it shows and then always verify the goal click down here and you'll see that 0.27 percent converted into some type of form in this period that's using the forms submit event okay i'm going to hit save now that goal is there and starting today going forward for this dealer this event will capture any cdk form that is completed now what about sales forms okay so that's really important that we know how to do that so i'm going to go back to behavior i'm going to go back to events i'm going to go to top events I'm going to click on form singular submits that's all the cdk and here are all the types of lead forms if your list has more than 10 you'll need to come over here to the right and expand the list of course there's only eight here so depending on how you want to break out your goals get a quote that's for sales price watch that's for sales contact us is not that's the general contact contact us is not necessarily for sales that's just a general contact form so we probably want to eliminate that and then finance prequal hey that's that's a sales event 
ePrice qualification, not parts, not contact us in capitals, but get a quote, absolutely. So now what we need to do is take these event names and create a way to look only for those event names and then test it. So what I'm going to do, so I don't make a mistake with spelling, I'm gonna come up here in the upper right hand corner and hit export. And I'm gonna to go to an Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to open that Excel spreadsheet. I'm gonna to go to the data set and look what I have here all of the form names. Now I don't need all of this, so I'll just delete it for now. And I don't need this event action, just remember that. Okay, get a quote, yep. Price watch, yep. Contact, no. Finance prequal, yes. E-price ports order, no. Contact us, no. Get a quote. These are the ones that we know to be associated with sales. So let's uh, just clean up these rows here. And okay, so here's all our text. I'm gonna just copy that text. And then I'm gonna go back into Google Analytics. I'm gonna click on admin. I'm gonna click on goals. I'm gonna create a new goal this is going to be called a, a custom goal. Continue. Okay. CPE conversion forms. And then watch sales. Now it's an event, but this is multiple events now that are occurring. So we have to know a little bit about regular expressions in Google Analytics. That's why we have our training course. I'm going to hit continue. Now, this is at the event action level. Each one of those forms was fired not at the category level, that was called form submits, but at the action level with these forms. Watch what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paste in the names of the events that we had in the spreadsheet. I'm gonna right click and paste. Now you'll notice that what Excel did is just push those text values one after another You'll have to zoom in here a minute to see, but there's a space between each event name. So what you have to do is get rid of the space and put a pipe, that's the vertical bar. So it's get a quote form pipe, price, watch, move that space out, delete it, pipe, finance, prequal form, you'll see there's a space after that, get rid of it, pipe, e-price qualification, can't get rid of the space, pipe, Get a quote. Now on your CDK system, you may have slightly different names or additional names. The key here, it's not equals to. You have to change the action to regular expression. And remember the category just for safety purposes, we're gonna do form submits. Obviously there's not gonna be other actions that have those names, but why not just be extra careful? Now that we've changed it to regular expression because we're using the pipes, let's hit verify and you'll see that the conversion worked. 0.17% were sales leads according to the events in Google Analytics. Now, keep in mind that chat forms, phone call conversions, and text message conversions are not included in this goal, right? We set up separate goals for phone calls, text messages, and chat sessions. And with the PCG specification, those companies are sending events into GA, so it's a very similar process. I'm gonna hit save. Now, look what we have. I have a CPE conversion forms, which is all CDK forms, and then CPE conversion forms, sales, which is just the sales conversions. Why separate them out? Well, if you understand AdWords, AdWords optimizes on outcomes or conversions. So if you set up CPE conversion forms, sales, and then CPE conversion calls, sales, if you set up CPE conversion, chat sales, 
then you can take those sales goals and use them to optimize AdWords. What dealers are doing today is importing all forms, all phone calls, all chat, all text messages, which of course is a, a sad thing because it's throwing off AdWords' ability to optimize to get sales outcomes. Remember, over 85% of all phone calls from Google AdWords are not for sales. That's why you need a technology platform like Car Wars, Call Review, or Interactive Tell to listen to the phone calls and throw an event into Google Analytics for each phone call as an event. So is it a sales phone call, a service phone call, a parts phone call, or just an admin call? When you set up Google Analytics with the PCG specifications, a couple things happen. Number one, you can inspect all conversions properly and you can funnel in the sales conversions into AdWords to improve your return on ad spend. And three, you can inspect the quality of all your traffic because you're looking at what consumers are doing on your website. Because remember, the majority, over 90% of all consumers who come to your website never convert to a phone call, lead form, chat, or text. So this is how you set up form goals for CDK based on events and if your website platform is sending events in the GA for each type of form, you just need to know the pattern and you can set up a similar goal. This type of training is part of the PCG online curriculum for Google Analytics and specific courses for automotive professionals. I hope you enjoyed this instructional moment and to learn more about our online training programs, go to pcgtraining.com.